From the Salvation Army National Capital Area Command, this is Field Journal. The number of recent man-made and weather-related tragedies in the news has shined a spotlight on the need for emergency disaster preparedness. Between April and June of 2013, the Salvation Army responded to a total of 19 events abroad and here at home. There were incidents in Argentina, the Sichuan province of China, and Bangladesh, plus Boston, Chicago, Florida, Georgia, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, and most recently Philadelphia, the scene of a horrific building collapse which severely damaged a Salvation Army thrift store taking the lives of six and injuring more than a dozen people. No matter what the event, what, when, or wherever disaster strikes, the Salvation Army acts quickly to meet the most immediate needs of victims and survivors, as well as the first responders, bringing nutrition and hydration, personal hygiene and cleanup supplies, and emotional and spiritual care. On May 31st, the Salvation Army held a disaster services training for volunteers in Alexandria, Virginia. Ten people took part in the day-and-a-half program. After an introduction to the Salvation Army, attendees received Serve Safe training, the four-hour safety course concentrated on teaching volunteers and staff on how to correctly handle food. Best practices were shared on important areas such as safe serving temperatures for hot or cold foods and taking the correct precautions against spreading germs and harmful bacteria. During the afternoon session, participants received training on Ministry of Presence and how best to communicate with disaster survivors and first responders. The Salvation Army, meanwhile, is deploying several officers from the National Capital Area to help with the ongoing response in Moore, Oklahoma. National Capital Area Commander Major Lewis Reckline. We have a couple officers from the uh, D.C. metro area who will be heading over to Oklahoma City and Moore, Oklahoma to assist with the incident command, uh, with spiritual help, with uh, help getting people to clean up, help getting them back into their homes. We will keep you posted on their progress while deployed. Visit our updates section of SalvationArmyNCA.org. For Field Journal, I'm Ken Forsyth.